Welcome to How I Got 99 Cooking. This is part of my How I Got 99 series. Originally, I was going to start making guides, but I know there's different methods of doing things, and there will always be someone saying that my guide is wrong. To avoid people getting mad about guides, I'm showing how I got level 99 in skills so people can reference it if they want to. Again, this isn't a guide, but this is how I got 99 cooking. Before I show how I got level 99 cooking, if you are new here, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Helps me out a ton. I appreciate it. In this video, I'm going to break down spots to cook, burn rates, optional quests, and how I leveled. You can find a range at Hosidia's house. You need 100% Hosidia's favor, and it gives a 5% increased chance not to burn the food. And for the fire, there's an everlasting fire at the Rogue's Den in Berthope using a games necklace. Both locations are close to a bank, so you can choose. Next up, I'm going to talk about burn rates. In the description will be a link to the OSRS wiki that lists what level you stop burning a certain food. When cooking food, this is useful to reference, especially at the most costly fish or food that you'll be cooking. You can save a lot of money if you plan it right. Next up, I'm going to talk about optional quests that you can do. If you want to skip these quests, I'll still show how I started at level 1. First up, we have Cook's Assistant that gives 300 XP. Most people do this right off the bat when they make their account, so you probably have it done. Next up, we have Gertrude's Cat that gives 1,525 XP. These are great boosts at the lower levels. Here is how I went through the process of training cooking. I mentioned some prices in this part of the guide. To see current prices when you were watching this video, Check out GE Tracker for the most up-to-date prices. My referral link is in the description. For levels 1 through 20, I cook sardines. I did those at that level because I had tons from early level fishing and it just worked out. You'll need to cook 112 of these, but I recommend buying or fishing more than the exact number since you'll be burning some. I would recommend catching these since at current prices raw sardines are 64 GP each and the cooked sardines are 6 GP each. For levels 20 to 30 I cook trout. Same with sardines, I did those at that level because of early level fishing. You'll need to cook 128 trout. If losing GP isn't an issue, I would buy them. With prices at the time of this recording, raw trout is 42 GP each and cooked trout is 18 GP each. For levels 30 to 50, I cooked salmon. You will need to cook 978 salmon. There isn't much GP loss currently when cooking salmon. Raw salmon is 99 GP each and the cooked salmon is 88 GP each. I would buy them at this level. For levels 50 to 68, I cooked tuna. I did tuna at this level since I used to AFK fish, so I stockpiled them on the side. You will need to cook 5037 tuna to reach level 68. Looking back at the burn rates I showed earlier, you'll stop burning tuna on the range at 63, but on the fire at Rogue's Den, you'll stop burning at level 64. There isn't much GP loss for tuna either. Current prices for raw tuna is 44 GP each, and the cooked tuna is 39 GP each. For level 68 to 99, I made wines. I waited to level 68 to start doing wines because you stop making bad wine at this level. From 68 to 99, you'll need to make 62,147 wines. To create wines, you'll need to use a jug of water on grapes or vice versa in your inventory to start the animation. In 12 seconds, you will receive an XP drop when the wines are fermented. The cool thing about wines is that you don't have to stop making wines. The XP drop you receive is how many you can get done without getting past that 12 second before they ferment. I have reached 400 to 450,000 XP per hour doing wines with people getting much more than that. With current prices, grapes are 66 GP each and jugs of water are 40 GP each. So you'll need to spend 4.1 million GP on grapes and almost 2.5 million on jugs of water, which brings the total to 6.6 .6 million from 68 to 99, which I feel isn't too much for a quick 99. If you are looking for a money making method, I would recommend sharks. I started AFKing sharks at level 90. With current prices, raw sharks are 829 GP each and cooked sharks are 957 GP each with a profit of 128 GP per shark. Starting at level 90, if you did sharks all the way to 99, you'll need to cook 36,610 sharks. With a profit of 128 GP per shark, you'll be making 4.6 mil. You can cook sharks at level 80, but I found you burn them way less at 90, so that's why I started there. Sharks are always going up and down in price, so I definitely look at GE Tracker to help you find the correct price. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this How I Got 99 video. 
I put a lot of time and effort into the editing. I think this video is probably one of the best edited videos that I have made. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about it. Remember, if you're new, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that like button. My name is Snack Food, and I'll see you later. Peace.